This is Jim Lanky with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3. And we are also on sandylandcenter.org, our website. So you can see all the commissioners' meetings and everything else. If you miss it on Cable 3, you can see it on our website, sandylandcenter.org. Today is Friday. It's the 10th of October, and it's a blistering 49 at noontime here in the square. <clears throat> and this is one of the coldest days that we'll have for a while. So we're having thunderstorms today. Uh, 52 will be the high temperature, and there's a 90% chance of rain, which means that we probably will get some rain. Then on Saturday, it's a little better, partly cloudy, 62 the high. More storms on uh, Sunday, scattered thunderstorms, 68 the high temperature with a 60% chance of rain. And then we get into more routine weather. Monday, partly cloudy with a high of 67. Tuesday, sunny and a high of 71. And this coming Wednesday, sunny and 73, the high temperature. <clears throat> well, we have happy birthday for Lori Messick today. Happy birthday for Robert Frank on uh, Saturday. And we have none to announce for Sunday. Now, we do have a new program here at the Senior Center for at Shepherd Center. <clears throat> and we have Marsha Dryden volunteering to come in. Uh, two, two Mondays during the month. Let's see, it's the second and fourth Monday of the month, and she's here from 10 to 11 o'clock, and she will take a very accurate blood pressure uh, reading for you. So if you need to have your blood pressure checked by a professional every now and then, uh, drop in on the second or the fourth Monday of the month. And this coming Monday, I believe, is the second Monday this month. So we do hope that uh, people will come in and uh, get to meet Masha and have their blood pressure checked. You can also stay and have coffee and cookies and uh, chat with some of your friends. <clears throat> well, we have a, a lot of different uh, things that are happening now. And uh, on uh, Tuesday, the 14th, the Lunch Bunch is going to Seward, Kansas. And uh, they're going to go there and they're going to have uh, lunch at Mom's Bar and Grill. Uh, and the special is chicken and noodles. And uh, it costs $5 for the gas. Uh, and I think you have to uh, pay for your, your own lunch. Uh, so that's a trip. And then on Monday the 20th, <coughs> the Recreation Commission is going to Dodge and they're going to do the casino trip again and they leave at 9, let's see, they get there at 9.30. They leave at 8 and at 10 you could go shopping in the mall or stay at the casino. And they leave at 2 and they're home by 3.30 and it costs $10 for the gas and of course your, uh, your casino spending money is on yourself. Uh, then we have the county letting us know that the hazardous waste trailer uh, will be at Stafford County Landfill on the Saturday, October 18th uh, from 9 until 1. And so you can bring your household uh, waste, hazardous waste, to the Stafford County Landfill at that time. And for more information, you can call 549-3597 or 6181. <clears throat> then uh, we have the, the first of some interesting ways to have uh, dinner. Uh, the first one is at the United Methodist Church. Their women are having their annual soup supper and bazaar. And that's Wednesday the 15th from 4.30 to 7. <coughs> uh, the donation is $7 for an adult 
and 350 for people under 10, 10 and under. And they have other things like home baked goods, and jelly, craft items, and they have drawing, a drawing for Elaine Recliner and other prizes. And the tickets for the drawing are $5, or you get five tickets for 20 And then following that up with another great time to have lunch, and that's the annual turkey dinner at the St. John Catholic Parish. And this is Sunday, October 19th, from noon until 1.30. And it's at the Catholic Witt Center. Uh, the tickets are $9 for adults, $5 uh, uh, for kindergarten, uh, let's see, kindergarten through 6, and under 5 are free. And they have prizes uh, that will be raffled, uh, bicycles, a grill, a quilt, various gift certificates, and the drawings at 1.30. So there's another place to really go. Also, if you're homebound and you can't make it to the dinner, you can call at the Methodist Church, and the number is 549-3847, and call and make a reservation and they will have somebody bring you the turkey dinner. And that's a good thing for people that have to stay at home, uh, particularly for senior citizens who can't get out and travel. So thank you, uh, St. John Church, for that. <clears throat> and the last two things are always on our minds, and those are the menus for the fellowship meals. So here in St. John, the fellowship meal is Salisbury steak and brown gravy with baked potato. And you can look forward to Monday. Uh, they're having uh, uh, cod fish and parcel potatoes. And over at the VIP Center in Maxville uh, today, they're having turkey casserole with green beans and beets. And on Monday, they're having meatloaf, spinach, and capri vegetables. I'm not sure what a capri vegetable is, but I'm sure it's very tasty. Well, we still have this uh, <coughs> discussion about the program that's being held at the Southern Baptist Church and in the community. You can partake in that program just by uh, watching because we broadcast the, the main lecture uh, for the program every week on uh, the internet, and we have it live on the TV. Uh, but also, uh, you can look on the website and see uh, that program uh, and do it from home. And it's a good program to do. You don't have to go to the church. You can get a book and follow it, or you can do it in another group, or even another church would be welcome to use that book and uh, look at this program because it, it really is a good one. Anyway, he'll be on to uh, give you some news about that after the Word of the Day, so stay tuned. Now, the Word of the Day is happiness is like jam. You can't put it all over all kinds of things without having some of it get on yourself. This is Jim Lakey. I hope you have some happiness today. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, this is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, and finally, of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. 
This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. With, with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday school. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.